Hi, I'm Jen from Online Fabric Store. Today we're going to make a medium tiered ruffle skirt out of cotton jersey. This skirt is comfortable and easy to wear in the summer, so let's get started. The materials you'll need are a rotary cutter mat, a rotary cutter, a fabric pen or marker, two yards of jersey fabric, I'm using Robert Kaufman Red Laguna Cotton Jersey Fabric, one yard of one inch wide non-roll elastic, thread, elastic thread, at least four spools are recommended, ballpoint pins, a ballpoint needle, and safety pins. With the rotary cutter, cut four connector pieces, 36 inches long and five inches wide. For the ruffles, cut four pieces 56 inches long and five inches wide. The connector piece is the strip of fabric that's stitched underneath the ruffles connecting them together. Take the connector pieces with the right sides facing each other and sew the open ends together using a half inch seam allowance. A zigzag stitch is not necessary for this part. For solid color jersey fabric, there is no difference as to determine the right side. For any stretch fabric, make sure you're stitching with ballpoint needles. These needles are made to help the thread stretch with the fabric. Do this for all four connector pieces and set aside. Before you stitch, make sure that the stitch length on your machine is set at the longest stitch possible which is usually five or six depending on your machine. The reason for this is that a longer stitch is looser, which will help glide the fabric for gathering. Starting a quarter inch in from the top, stitch a straight line across. Elastic thread is only used in the bobbin. This thread will help the stitch stretch with the fabric. Leave four to five inches of thread before cutting it. A quarter inch down from there, stitch a second line. Stitch a third line a quarter inch down from the second line. Gently pull and tug on the thread to gather the fabric together. Line the fabric up to the connector piece to make sure they're both the same length. For a zigzag stitch, make sure the length is 2.5 millimeters and the width is 3 millimeters. By setting it at this length and width, it helps the stitch stretch with the fabric. Starting from the bottom, pin and stitch the right side of the connector piece to the right side of the ruffle. Stitch with a 1 inch seam allowance. Fold the connector piece up. Pin and stitch the wrong side of the second ruffle along the top. Pin and stitch the right side of the second connector piece to the top of the second ruffle and fold up. Continue this step for the next two ruffles. First, trim the inside seams down a half inch. The last connector piece will be the waistband. 
Since we're using one inch elastic, trim the waistband down a half inch on each side. Pin the right side a half inch down from the top and stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Fold the waistband over and pin on the inside. Zigzag stitch along the inside seam, leaving two inches open at the end. To insert the elastic, attach safety pins to both ends. Attach one end to the opening of the fabric. Insert the other end through the waistband and use the safety pin to pull the elastic through. Once it's through, remove the safety pins, overlap the ends a half inch, and zigzag stitch. The zigzag stitch will help the elastic stretch. Stitch the opening and your tiered ruffle skirt is now complete. If you're using a cotton fabric that doesn't stretch, you only need elastic thread for the waistband. This skirt is fun to dress up for a fancy look or dress down for a casual look. Thanks for watching this OFS project.